Hey guys, Kate here with my Mar monthly book haul for the month of March. Um, obviously I'm still getting used to this stuff, so please bear with me until I can figure out everything going on. Um, so I bought quite a few books in the month of March, and so I'm just going to get right into it with, um, yeah. So the, one of the books I bought was Insurgent. I had the ebook copies of both Insurgent and Allegiant since like February, I think. Um, but my mom wanted to read them too, so she bought the physical copies and gave them to me afterwards. So yeah, Insurgent. Off of that, you already know what the next book's gonna be. Allegiant. Um, so yeah, obviously, uh, I have to get the physical copies of books I love, even if I read them on my ebook. Uh, on my Kindle, usually, um, if I really love a book, I'll go out and buy the physical copy to either wait till it's on sale, find it at a used bookstore or something, but I need to have it. So, off of that, you've already seen this book in my introduction video, but four, um, which I finished. It'll be in my monthly wrap-up, which I am going to film next, and hopefully these videos will be up on the same day. Um... Sorry, I like threw my books all over the place. I also bought at a used bookstore the uh, book adaptation of Iron Man by Peter David. Um, this came out before it came out in the movie theaters. Um, I can't wait to read it. You know, I'm a huge Marvel buff. I love Marvel. So this is pretty exciting for me. Um, I was very excited to find it. Uh, the next book is, again, with the whole have to have physical copies of books I love. I actually don't own any of the Lord of the Rings or even The Hobbit in a physical copy. Um, I have them on my Kindle. Our original copies got wrecked. Um, someone left them out in the one rain and they got just trashed. So we had, we just didn't have physical copies. But I finally found The Two Towers. Um... At the used bookstore. I was very excited to find it. So now I only have uh, about three more books to buy in this series. Plus, obviously, you know, I want to get the Silmarillion. I want to get all the books that he has of from, you know, Middle Earth. I love Middle Earth. Um, the next book is called Blood Pact. It is by Tanya Huff. Um, I guess it's kind of a mystery, supernatural book. Um, it seems very interesting. Uh, you can check it out. I will have it shelved on my Goodreads if you want to check it out there. Um, yeah, it's got like vampires and I guess dead people in it. It's pretty cool. Uh, haven't read it yet, obviously. Um, I'll see, you know. The next book I bought is the final book in a trilogy that I have been reading for a while and um, didn't realize that the third book had come out. So it is Blood Rose by Andrea Kramer. And I'm sorry, I'm probably fudging up people's names. It happens. Um, I've read the other two books. I'm actually getting to, ready to reread the, two, the first two and read this one in April. Um, so I'm really not going to talk about this book because I will talk about the other, the very first one in, um, my monthly wrap-up video, which also will have, you know, what I hope to read for April in it to kind of give you an idea of what it's about, what the series is about as a whole. The next book I bought, which actually has a bookmark in it because my mom is reading it right now, is The Furies of Calderon by Jim Butcher. It's the first book in the Codex Alara series. Um, my mom's actually almost done with it. Woohoo, I'll get to read it next. Um, I didn't even actually look at the back of this one. Um, me and my mom have read pretty much the whole Dresden Files series. And I actually got recommended to read the Codex Alara from a friend of mine who um, is a huge Jim Butcher fan and said that the Codex Alara series, once you get into it, is better. I don't know if that's the case. Um, I will definitely let you guys know when I find out. So, yeah. And the final book I bought 
was the original illustrated Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Um, and I really, again, I, I don't know what stories are in this. It says it on the back. There's a whole list of them on the back. Um, but I bought it because it's Sherlock Holmes. I don't own any Sherlock Holmes books. I've wanted to for a while. Um, I found this at a little, um, I guess, I don't know, it's like a bargain outlet. It's got more than books in it, but this book was originally $13, and I got it for like 7 So, I mean, come on, $6 difference. Um, so I don't know exactly which stories are in it. I guess um, what it is is the stories that he posted in the Strand magazine way back in the day. So, you know, it'll be an interesting read, and it'll be nice to actually get to read some of them. I mean, I've seen all kinds of shows related to Sherlock Holmes, and right now I'm obsessed with the BBC show. I'm a huge reader, I'm a huge watcher of all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, um, I think that's it for my book haul. Um, let me know how I did. Leave a comment down below telling me what you want to see in these. If you want me to read the, uh you know, backs of the books or something. If you want more information, feel free to comment down below, hit me up on Twitter, tell me whatever I need. You know, I want to make these good for you guys. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!